Happy Easter 2020. Well, today I'm working on making some mast hoops. And these are some strips of oak that I've cut. And they're about three quarter inches wide and really quite thin. Um, about an eighth of an inch. Um, there's one here that's still a little thicker than the rest. And I think I'll put it on the sander. It's this one right here. We'll put it on the sander and see if I got that belt sander right there. We should be able to take it down a little bit. Um, now these are about at least 39 inches long because I'm going to put them on this little jig that I made, steam them, and then bend them around this circle. And the circle is about three and three fourths in diameter. And the reason for that is that my mast at its biggest diameter is about three and a quarter. So I'm thinking that should give me about a half an inch of clearance for the, for the hoops. Uh, and hopefully that'll be enough to where they can slide up and down the mast without without that being a problem. So <clears throat> I'm not going to get the steam box out just for these. I've got six of them here. I think I only need five, but in case I break one, um, oh yeah. So so the diameter or the circumference around here is about 13 inches. So, if I want them to go around three times, then I need 39. And like I said, these strips are all at least 39. Some of them are even a little better than that. Now, the other thing I did with them is I've tapered the edges so they're pretty thin in the end. And that's just so that when we uh, don't have rough edges in the inside or the outside, and they'll need to be cleaned up or whatever after that. I've never done this before, but that's just like everything else with this boat. So, all right, we'll see how it goes. Happy Easter, everybody. Okay, it's just started, just now. That's a steamer, a wallpaper steamer. I've got my hose coming around here and going in right there. And I've got all the sticks in there. And uh, we're starting, just now starting to get a little steam in there. It's kind of inflating the bag. Um, I use this nylon, um, high temperature bag. I got it, I think, from ACP Composites. I'm understanding you could probably just use any kind of heavy construction um, plastic, but anyway, I've got it, so I'm using it. It's a tube, and so I just kind of clamp the ends shut with little pieces of wood on there and some clamps, and uh, well, you can see a couple of the sticks in there right there. So. Anyway, I don't know, they aren't very thick. I don't think it's going to take very long. Probably 15, 20 minutes to do it. Okay, so that's been about a half hour. Uh, those sticks are even bending inside there. So anyway, we're going to pull one out and try to bend it around that circle, see what happens. Oh, 
that's going to, oh, look at that, that's going to bend easy. Oh, I don't even have any fear of the splitting. Just keeping it tight on there is going to be the trick. Wow, can you believe that? Man, that's fun. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to keep letting this steam stay in here while we're doing the rest of this. Because now I've got to take it. Uh, I want those nice and smooth, and then I'm going to put a little, run a little screw through it, I think, to hold it together. So I got a little three-quarter inch screw. I think one inch is too big. We'll just go with three-quarter. And all I want to do is just try to get, get a screw in there. Hey, buddy. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Voila. Look at that. Pretty pleased with that. And we'll let that dry. I think I'll uh, put epoxy down in there and just let it kind of drizzle down in there and should glue it all together. That or either we could just put some more screws through there or even some maybe uh, little plugs of dowel in there. We'll see. All right, I got to bend the rest of them. Okay, here goes number two. That went pretty smooth. Somebody commented, Mike, I believe, commented on the last video, and he said, you show a lot of stuff when it doesn't all go right. And, uh, well, today, at least so far, it's just going right, so I don't have to show any screw-ups. Now, just as soon as I said that, this one will be a disaster. Oh, my, that's warm. Woohoo! Thought I got the gloves. Oh, look at that. Woo! It's like butter. It's like butter. My wife's out here talking to me about deviled eggs. Easter dinner. Sounds good. Okay. We got a little slot I put in there. Let's put that right down in there like that. I didn't have it all the way down on the bottom on the first one. Man. Chuck Jenkins, master mast who maker. <laughs> See how much they want for these things on like uh, some of the websites? I saw one this last week, $55 for a mast who. It's enough to make you want to start making mast hoops. Oh, there's something to be said for having a little practice at this. Just about the time I'm good at it, I won't need to do it anymore. Okay, now let's see. That one's way better than the first one. That's really thin there where I... I don't know if that's going to work. We might. Let's try it. The three quarter inch, not the one inch. Hmm. 
Now I went and got the drill driver this time because putting in the screwdriver was pretty difficult. Now all I need to do is not screw into the mold. <laughs> That'd be funny. Not. Oh, I surely could too. That's going to go in there if I'm not careful. Okay. Let's see if I have. Jeez, I might be in there. I might have screwed it. Oh, I did. Oh no. <laughs> Remember when I said I would <laughs> show what goes wrong? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's undo it just a little bit. You ever have one of those springs in your uh, recoil on the lawnmower? <laughs> Spring! Hope that doesn't happen. I've got, I think I've got even smaller screws, maybe half inch. Let's go look for them. So here's all six of the mast hoops that we made. Got them bent yesterday. That one I did stick a little bit of thickened epoxy in there because of that where that little crack was in the wood. And I expect that probably sealed that up pretty good. And then obviously these got to be sanded and cleaned up and what have you. But um, I think overall it should be in pretty good shape. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.